Kashim Shetima's foot in his mouth and infra dignitatem. Wow, this word infra dignitatem. We need to find the meaning, you know. All right, so let's see what the writer is trying to say about Shetima's foot being in his mouth. Against the spirit of the peace accords signed by all, by all the presidential candidates of various political parties in Abuja ahead of the 2023 general election, which the vice presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC Kashim Shetima, signed on behalf of his principal, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Shetima has since then gone against the peace accord with his repeated verbal attacks on the person of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obin. Recall that before the peace accord, the same Shetima had derided the incumbent vice president Yemi Oshibanjo when he said that Oshibanjo would be better off as an ice cream and popcorn seller than seeking to become the president of Nigeria. True to Shetima's discourteous utterances, typical of people with inferiority complex, Shetima, under whose watch Boronu State became a sanctuary state for Boko Haram terrorists, derogatorily called the former governor of Anambra State, Gringori, a name of a clown character in the popular village masquerade TV show by the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, in the 90s. What an infra dignitatem. Chetima is bitter because Peter B is far ahead of his principal in the race to Asorok. But that is not Peter B's fault. The truth is that Tinubu Shetima ticket is a bad market that is unappealing to Nigerians. So Shetima's fallacious utterances, rather than diminish the rising political profile of Peter Obi, actually promotes Peter Obi as Nigerians now know better to be very to be wary of the likes of Shetima. It is for Peter Obi that Martin Luther King Jr. exhorted us well. We shall have to create leaders who embody virtues we can respect, who have moral and ethical principles we can applaud with an enthusiasm that enables us to rally support for them based on confidence and trust. We will have to demand high standard and give consistent loyal support to those who merit it. Wow. So this is what is being written here. Um, this piece of write-up is trying to look at the character of Shetima. Um, this has been recounted in the past, the attitude of Shetima prior to signing the peace accord, and those are actually what necessitated the creation and signing of that peace accord as well. Shetima, right from the beginning, has been deriding other candidates. He said... Yemi Shibanjo is better off as an ice cream seller. He came back to call uh, Peter B. Gringori. You understand? All those are statements that slight their personality, that is der der derogatory. Right? So Shetima actually is somebody that he has shown obvious hatred for people uh, from the South. And that is why he's saying all those things to give credence to the North and trying to um, a kind of. Uh, instigate the minds of the Northerners that they need another candidate for them. All right. So all of this aggression against the Southerners and against members of other political parties who are contenders actually necessitated the signing of that peace accord. All right. But then again, what the character is showing here is the character of somebody who has inferiority complex, who cannot compete very well publicly in a, in, a, in a general marketplace to sell their product. Now, the, the, what we're saying here is that the Tinubu Shetima ticket in APC is a bad market that is not appealing to all Nigerians because they have, they have, whether we like it or not, our cultural differences count, our religious backgrounds count, and for us to feel regarded and included, we must respect our different religions and our different cultures and our different ethnic backgrounds as well. All right, and that actually um, the APC and the Tinubu Shetima ticket has undermined without respect. 
All right, and that is why there's serious controversy in that party today and in that ticket that people, well, the Christians in the north and the south, are against it, and um, and uh, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to go down well with APC. Again, we went further to sign that peace accord, and in signing that peace accord, Shetima had to sign that peace accord on behalf of Tinubu. It was meant to be signed by all presidential candidates to take charge and control of their support of their supporters in their various parties. Unfortunately, Tinubu did not come, and so Shetima had to go there to sign on behalf of Tinubu. All right, and that has volumes, you know, that is speaking volumes to Nigerians. One, it means that APC is not willing to do uh, to be part of that uh, peace accord because right now we have seen violence that apc states are actually creating across the country apc in uh, in kaduna fought pdp apc talks in Borono state fought pdp apc in lagos state does not want labor party to move apc in a Bonny state does not want labor party and pdp to move apc in imo state does not want PDP and Labour Party to move. So it is it's obvious that APC is not part of that peace accord. First of all, the, 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 the presidential candidate of APC can deny that he didn't sign that peace accord by himself. So he can do whatever he wants to do. So it was a tactical attempt, all right, to subjugate or thwart that peace accord. That was why Tinubu refused to come and had uh, Shetima to sign. And Shetima signing... Uh, for him by proxy is actually not a welcome uh, uh, stuff. And since then, we've seen that Tinubu, I mean, uh, uh, both Tinubu and, uh, and uh, Shetima, especially Shetima, they are not living up to the standard recommended by that uh, same peace accord. Because it was after signing that peace accord that we had that violence both in Kaduna and in, and in Borono State against the PDP rallies. All right. So it is obvious that this man, Shetima, is not a part of that peace accord. First of all, he signed, he's not a president, so it's not valid. The president, presidential candidate of that party did not sign by himself, so it's also not valid. So it means that they are willing to do whatever they want to do. And that is why this writer is saying that um, Kashima has his foot in his mouth. It means that he's, um, he's not ready, all right, to abide by the he has failed all right the peace accord that he signed on behalf of his principal and that is actually not good enough for them and for the nation all right so countries nigeria need to actually look at these two people very well and look at them very well and be sure that and be sure that these people are not going to cajole us into something that we will not like later that noi who owns by Nguzin Kujiwala said obituary is ahead in a different uh, conducted opinion poll. So somebody's writing uh, something here that is not right. All right. And OI poll that was conducted uh, also shows that uh, Peter B is ahead of all other political parties uh, against the 23 race. All right. Um, so, but this person is not good with that. I'm sure. This person must also come from uh, APC, other north or south. All right, well, it's, uh, it's writing against this uh, this uh, piece of write up here. But the truth here is that Shetima has not lived up to standard recommended by that peace accord that was signed, and that is why they say that his foot is in his mouth. He's having his foot in his mouth. All right. When you look at Shetima's face, especially when he attended that uh, Imo State Town Hall meeting in Oweri where people walked out on them, you, you see aggression and wickedness in his face. You see bitterness in his face. You know that this man has no iota of respect for, for Southerners and Middle Belt and people that are not from the North. I'm telling you. So that is what we're seeing here. Shetima has his foot in his mouth and has refused to abide by that uh, peace accord that was signed by all political parties against 2023 general election. So thank you again for listening, for tuning in to listening, and let's have your comment below.